need to clear this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. The mechanism should be inside.
With the chain down, Gidrich and the ships can get through. your orders. You brought your weapons and armor. Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Rusas now? Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole.
Desmond is holed up in the tower keep. Press forward! Before I let you take this fortress, I'll cut you down, Dane! Ah! Rue sister will not fall to you, rabid pack of mongrels!
dare to take this fortress, Dean? Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tedmund. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised. If riches are all you care about, the church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen. You handle me too roughly. You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill my men for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough! Or I'll return you to the Saxons. Ah. <clears throat> you there! Heathens! Let this good man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver! Give them all they ask, Kinnebert! A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow? I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? <laughs> I need... I need air! He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no! Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find Fulke ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. Fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Gidrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. We should not be seen in this area. Well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard.
Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Cunebert, your guests have arrived. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Won't you? I never told him. Kill her. And will never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are vile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. Ah! You will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Okay, let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did, and with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come, let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. It will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer.
This place swarms with Fulke's people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Caution and subtlety should be our path. Ready? Follow me. Fulke give us her sanctum. She baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. Cocksure and arrogant, but she cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful wit would say otherwise. To arms, Basson! So we are to blunder in like an ox? So we are to blunder in like an ox? Give me a hand with this. This must be the way to Fulke's sanctum. Then let us go. Fulke! I'm here! Face me! Have a care, Avery. You will play into our hands. What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? By Odin, this is a sick tapestry she wove. For every drop of his blood she spilled, I will take a meat horn more. What is it? 
Tell me that you found something. Anything we can use. I may have. A fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Sigurd is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tedman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Trace the steps. It's luck he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. Oh no, Eivor, over here. A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at his eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Strong scent down here. Strange and heady. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness. I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Must be Wallace's clothes. His trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Here. Seems he made something to eat. Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Oh, Eivor! Eivor! Come this way! What have you found? I saw it, Eivor! I saw him nearby! Wallace? The White Elk! 
The white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? As sure as I see you now. He's back. A guardian is back, leading us to my brother. Petra, where are you? Petra? Hello? Mimia, guide me. Have I lost her too? Petra! Show yourself! It's getting dark! Sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the White Elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It, it may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's... Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. You live a comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on. No, I eat, I sleep, I frolic, I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? Uh, I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. What? What is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Here in Midgard, return to Jotunheimer! Go now, or die here! What have you done with Petra? Uh. Talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Evil, I am right here. There is no need to question this carrion further. Oh, uh, yes. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there. His trail leads this way. Petra, I, I met your old friend, the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited. For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Oh, look there! This is strange, Seda Petra. Where are you? Petra, how are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move, run in a straight line. No, 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 no! Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it, just like your Soonin! And not a scratch on you! Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. 
Are you sure Wallace is here? I, I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no! The wolf spirits have wakened! Good day, Squirrel. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wallace? Damn! This one doesn't speak rabbit! Petra, hurry! Tell me, little rabbit. Have you seen a man named Wallace around here? Hmm, I see, I see. Thank you for your help. Eivor, look! The elk has returned! There! Do you see it? The white elk leading us to Wallace just as before! Come on, Eivor! Chase the elk! Nothing to show for it. Uh, so what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone brain stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am, freshly rested and ready to work. You're days late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home, slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. But I will have to ask the rabbits for permission. Sigurd. He... he's alive. But not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Randy. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Randy. Step aside, now. You never found him. Because you didn't look. <clears throat> I see you, Eivor. I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Radri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods.
You are a good boy. Stop there, Wolf Kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it! My mind is fixed! Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home! Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death! You spew nonsense, Dag. This is absurd. Enough! Let the circle be made! I'll make a goblet of your skull! Please! Please, both of you! Is that the best you can do? I do not want to do this! Walk away! What's the matter, Eivor? Are you scared? Only for what I must do. Do you not see what you do? I would grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. Please! Please, both of you! You could have waited! You could have come with me! You are a fool, Dag. You see why it has gotten you. Silence! Forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded you gave him, that should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. 
He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. You should not have come to this, old friend. Take this. Fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, may you find it in the next. Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unvanished. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you. And I will burn the fields. Dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That! That is my oath! That is my oath. I will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl. Is that promise? Dag, you lived as you died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend, but I remember them well. I wonder what became of you, if anything remains of such a strong spirit. How do you feel, Eivor? I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go. 